and welcome to my channel. Today we have a little bit of a change of scenery but we are going to be talking about this hour tour because I was lucky enough to attend this hour tour in Manchester on Sunday the 3rd of July and it was incredible and I want to talk about my experience and I also made like a little vlog of my time and also there's something else I want to talk about and I'll get to that at the end. We are seeing Olivia Rodrigo tomorrow and I'm very very excited but I did manage to get a ticket my mum managed to get me a ticket only one so this is the first concert I'm ever going to alone which is kind of scary um, I'm in the like rear circle at the very very top in the heavens but I'm excited um, it should be good I'm still checking Ticketmaster because yesterday I had a look at Glasgow and Glasgow tickets came on at like midnight like more tickets so I'm hoping the same can be said for Manchester and maybe I can get the um, stalls tickets either way I'm excited to go so I'm just doing my hair uh, we're putting this in this helps my like blow dry stay in for longer which is nice and it also smells amazing it's no secret that getting tickets to the sour tour was very very difficult so the venue I went to was the O2 Apollo in Manchester which has a capacity of 3,500 which isn't a lot considering the fact she's a global superstar. But I did manage to get a ticket. I got one ticket at the very, very top, row T, which was so far from the front, but I was really, really glad to be even in the same room. I've been a huge Olivia Rodrigo fan ever since I watched High School Musical, the musical, the series, um, back in March 2020, I think it was, um, when Disney Plus finally came to the UK. Ever since then, I have just loved her, and it's been so amazing to just watch how popular is she is now it's it's fantastic day before the concert i was looking on ticketmaster to see if any last minute tickets got released but unfortunately none did and i had a look at the resale sites and the resale sites were selling them for a ridiculous amount so the my ticket was 41 pound 80 and then i looked like some fees and stuff but on the resale sites they were like 200 300 pounds which is like ridiculous so i refused to Pay for resale tickets so I was just like you know I'm going alone I'm in the high heavens but I'm excited so this is how expensive they are right now and this is 11 p.m the day before the concert so um, I'll just say I want one ticket there we go this event is likely to sell out which is crazy so rear circle in the middle row R which is right at the back which is very near where I am I'm row T 165 pounds so very man the actual ticket is £41.80, which is crazy. Another one there, row U. Again, like that's really, really far back, 244. Floor 253. Floor 377 pounds per ticket. And the ticket was a £41.80. Um, I genuinely think they need to do something like kind of fast about this because resale tickets are ridiculous. So. I'm about to paint my nails with this incredible purple colour. And I think the, the name of it's quite like good. Strawberry ice cream in Malibu. You get it? You get it? <laughs> so I actually um, wrote a letter for Liv. I don't know if I managed to get it to her, but if I do, it'll be really, really cool. And this is all the stuff I put in it. I put so much stuff that I thought she'd like, and it's probably cringe. So I'm watching I'm watching Superstore at the moment, as you can hear in the background. But it's around half five. Doors open at seven, which is really weird because the past few concerts I've been to have been at stadiums, so doors open so early, and this is quite late. So I'm seated. I tried to find tickets all day. I couldn't rip. But either way, very excited to be going. Um, so I'll get there later on. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, excited. It should be fun. It should be fun. First time going to a concert alone, so I'm a little bit stressed. But yeah, I. Um, posted a picture of my outfit. My outfit's like not that cute. It's just like a purple top and pink skirt. I think it's cute, but anyway. And Livy's Hates Q liked it on Twitter, which is very cool. Um, so yeah, excited. So we are almost there at the Earth Apollo. I have never been to this venue before. Uh, doors are about to open it in literally one minute. I'm not standing, so there's no point in me getting there any earlier. Uh, very excited. You can see it there. There are so many people in the queue. Um, doors, I think, have just opened because people are going in. And yeah, this is what it looks like around here. It's, it's kind of weird. I'm, I've never been around here. So we thought the queue was small. Um, the queue is not small. The queue is very much massive. Um, did not expect it to be this big. I must admit. Oh <laughs> my god. While we were queuing outside, um, there was a lot of people and everyone was wearing like bright outfits and like colourful and like with hearts and purple and everything. It was so cute. I, I loved it so much. Honestly, it, I love people dressing up for concerts like that. Like people did that at Harry and it's just so like nice. Like it just feels very like friendly. Like these are all just kind of your friends, if that makes sense. Like 
yeah I, I just loved it the atmosphere was immaculate and it was really nice there was also a lot of like quite young children there like probably like you know like teenagers young teenagers which was really nice to see like it was probably a lot of their first concerts which is really nice it is half seven so we've been in the queue for about half an hour now uh, it's moving pretty a little focused it is moving quickly there we go it is moving pretty quickly which is good so we got to the venue at around 7 p.m. and that is when doors opened and I waited in a queue for around 30 to 40 minutes until we got inside. But because I was standing, I wasn't really bothered about getting inside early. I know some people did camp, that was not for me. And because I was seated, I didn't really see much point in it. Um, but yeah, I got into the venue and then I went straight to the merch stand. There was so much merch, I was so excited and it was all actually really decently priced. Like I've been to some concerts where merch is very expensive, but this it was pretty average really. So t-shirts were 30 pounds, uh, there was a hoodie for 60, um, there was a tiara for 15, socks for 10, like everything was pretty decent. The most expensive thing was the jacket, which was 120 pounds, which I did not buy. But I will show you what I did buy. The lady comes up to me and she's like, hi, ah, you know, what do you want? And I was like, oh, can I get that white t-shirt in a small? So I got this. It is so cute, it is so me. I literally, I love it so much. I wore it yesterday around Manchester. Um, it's a sour tour on the back. I really, really like this. I had seen it online beforehand and I was like, yep, this is the one I need to get. Comes up with the t-shirt and she's like, anything else? And I'm like, mm, can I have the bucket hat, please? So I get the purple bucket hat. There was a black one that says it's brutal out here, but I got this one because it's a sour tour and it's so cute. It literally, it matched my outfit perfectly because I was wearing like a purple denim jacket and like a pink skirt and it just, it went so well with it. So I got this. Um, I have heard rumors that Olivia Rodrigo's merch wasn't the best, but the stuff I bought was actually pretty good quality and I'm honestly really, really happy with it. So I can't complain. I had to get a jumper, didn't I? I had to. So I got the sour tour jumper. I got the black one because I was scared I would make the white one dirty. So it's the sour tour on the front, which I absolutely love on the back it says Rodrigo and then on the sleeves which I'm absolutely obsessed with it has like the stickers from the sour like album cover that are on her face just like on the side which I think is so cute. Eat the merch down hands me all the stuff and she puts it on the table and she says is that all and I'm like what am I gonna do because they didn't offer me a plastic bag or anything like usually they have like clear plastic bags they did not so I was like can I get the tote bag please I was not happy because the tote bag was 20 pounds and like I just bought a tote bag at Harry Styles, which was 25, so like I didn't really need a tote bag, but like I had to carry the merch, so yeah, I got the tote bag. This was the piece of merch I was most disappointed in because of the material, so it is quite thin as you can see, and because it was like 20 pounds, I felt like it was a little bit steep, um, but all in all, I like it, like I do like the the design of it. So it's a sour tour on the front and then on the back it says it's brule out here. Like don't get me wrong, I do, I like the design, I just think it was a little bit expensive for what it was, especially because I paid five pound more for a tote bag at Harry Styles which was a lot thicker and actually bigger than this. But I do like it so I'm kind of like, mm, I secretly did want it a little tiny bit. <laughs> queued up outside and queued for merch, Baby Queen was already on. So doors opened at seven, Baby Queen came on at around like eight and finished like 8.45. Just to catch the end of her set, which I was really glad about. And then Olivia came on at 10 past nine and finished at 10 past 10. Doors opened at like seven. You weren't really waiting around for a long time, which was quite good because like, you know, it was like baby queens on and the thing, like Olivia's on and stuff like it. It did kind of go quite fast, which is good.
I was just wondering, I had a question for anyone in the audience. Um, I was just wondering if anyone in here gets deja vu? <laughs> Concert. I managed to get me standing, which was super cool. I met the besties as well, which was really nice. I managed to get some merch. Uh, there's also the fake merch around, which I want to get. As you know, I was trying so hard to get standing tickets. I have been I've been checking for months and months and months to see if I get standing tickets because one of my lovely, lovely friends managed to get me a last minute ticket under the standing area so I managed to get standing and because I didn't go in the middle, I went around the side. I I, I went around that side. I got like a really good view um, because I didn't get to like the area I was until after Baby Queen had finished and I was really really glad I managed to get onto the floor because that means I got confetti. Three different types of like white butterfly with like text she wrote on it so it's like I want it to be like messy, hope you're okay with some hearts and then like thank you for coming to the sour tour and they were really really cute like cute confetti and then also there was like a blue and a purple like just little strip that you'd see at like normal concerts and then there was also purple butterflies as well. Honestly the concert was phenomenal, um, I love Olivia Rodrigo with my whole heart, she is a fantastic artist, if you can see her go see her, she's honestly she's amazing and I hope she does another tour soon because I really want to see her again. I did actually write a letter for Liv and Livy's HQ and I messaged um, Christiana from, um, from Livy's HQ and was like Hi, you know, I'm gonna be right at the top, I'm in seated, like, I've wrote a letter for you guys, you know, please come up and say hi. Um, and I got a message midway through the concert after I'd moved down into standing saying, hi, we came up to see you, see if you were there twice, but you weren't there, you know, we hope you enjoy the concert. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I felt awful, but I am so, so appreciative that they even came to look for me, like, they didn't have to do that, like, honestly my heart melts that they even did that in the first place, like, that was just really, really kind. And Livy's HQ, um, liked my tweet like my outfit as well which was like nice it was it was very cute and wholesome for Olivia on the Sunday and then I was in Manchester I went shopping in Manchester the next day on the Monday and then I got home so we had a lot of notifications which was like unusual I was like this is really weird I never have this many notifications and they're all just like check Olivia's story and I'm like okay what is even going on like why is everyone telling me this so this is Olivia Rodrigo's Instagram so there we go so this is Olivia Rodrigo's story oh who's that um, that is me if you cannot tell. Oh my god, I genuinely, I could not stop smiling. I was just kind of like in a state of shock because like, what? It was crazy, honestly. Um, my heart melted. I love Olivia Rodrigo so much. She is the cutest human in the world and I just couldn't believe she did that, so thank you. Ah. But yeah, it was, oh my gosh, it was just a fantastic concert, really. I had so much fun. Like, it was just so nice. Like, the, the crowd was nice. Everyone was screaming the lyrics. Everyone was having, like, the bestest time ever. It was, oh, it was so great, honestly. I really want to see her again now. She was fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I really, really loved it. I hope you really liked this vlog. If you did, please like and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. I do lots of other concert videos. I saw Red Sheeran recently and Harry Styles, so you can check those out. And yeah, I hope you have a really, really great day. And let me know if you went to the Sour Tour and if you got any merch, because I love talking about merch, because I'm sad. Oh,